Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of, um, I almost said Legend of Zelda. We're of course playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and we have got a few tasks to do today. We're going to have a look at the villagers obviously, mm. chat with them, see if anyone's at the plaza. But I think the main aim for today is we're going to be destroying our orchard. We're going to be collecting up all the fruits. We're going to be laying some paths maybe. Oh, we've got a glove. A lost glove. I picked up a lost item. Another cool thing we should hopefully be able to get in the police station. Um, but yeah, we're going to clear all these fruit trees basically. Chop them all down um, with our new golden axe in case you missed it. We now have a really cool golden axe that we can use that should never break. Uh, so we're going to do that. Basically start developing this area here. Decide what we're going to do. Um, and maybe plant the fruit trees in kind of smaller areas. Um, so before we get going, I think we should just double check to see if anyone's at the plaza. Probably not a good idea to run with an axe. And no one is at the plaza. So we're just going to move this over here. So next time someone does visit the plaza, it's definitely going to go in the police station. Because that's just, in again, in case you missed it, we're kind of just doing a little side quest we kind of made up where we're trying to get some really random and unique items inside the police station. And the best way to do that is place them on the plaza um, and then when someone visits, they the game spawns them inside the police station so you don't lose them. Uh, so, for example, if we don't find the person who owns this glove, we can drop it here and that should spawn in the police station as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I guess we should... We haven't really got anything other uh, to do other than that, so maybe we'll just talk to some villagers when we come across them. I think a pony is down here somewhere. Um, oh, there you are. How are you today? Hey, it's been a bit since our last chat, right? What? Oh, I'm starting to get annoyed at these villagers. I swear it goes like 24 hours and like, where have you been? <laughs> hey, it's been a bit since our last chat, right? We should get together more often, Maury. Okay, if you say so. Uh, who's that? Oh, Wolfling. Please don't say the same thing. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Nice time to get out and around in Moriland. Hey, listen. So, something up? Hey, listen. Uh, want to chat? Mm, Maury, I have something vital I must tell you. I'm an enthusiast, but I'm absolutely not a geek. Please don't confuse the two. Uh, okay, an enthusiast for what? Maybe a fruit enthusiast. Okay, let's start by collecting these. I think we probably only need three from each. Um, so we can sell the rest. So we'll just do one tree at a time, I think. Or one kind of, one fruit at a time. Um, gather the fruit, chop them down. Uh, I'm still surprised, eight months in and we still haven't found any cherries, I think. Or, wait, what else have we got? Apples or cherries? Or pe- oh no, we have, we have pears, sorry. And our native fruit is peaches. So I think the golden axe may give us increased chances of finding special stumps. Um, but maybe not. Actually, a good way to just, there we go, get all the fruit off like this. So we'll just gather the th uh, fruit up. We're only going to be needing probably three of each. Maybe four. Depends on the path layout we go to. But it's just going to be a relaxing episode. We're not going to do anything too stressful today. This is something we've kind of been putting off, so I feel like we should really get around to it. I liked having the orchard here when we first started, because it kind of kept all the fruit together. But then it did turn out that we probably should have put them more near retail, so they're easy, easier to harvest. Uh, but now we're kind of laying a lot more paths. Um, I think it's best just to group them in smaller groups, kind of away from each other so you've got kind of lots of think of it as lots of mini orchards maybe that's the idea we're going for hopefully that's uh um how it will come across uh when we start dropping paths so basically if you remember where we put the tulips the other day and it was kind of a a three by two grid of flowers or eight by two or no it was eight by three something like that um and we just put the flowers there like that's where i'm thinking we could put fruit trees as well so that's the idea anyway. Uh, and also it just opens up this space. Uh, it's got a lot of villagers are kind of moving here for some reason. Don't know how I missed this pair here. 
So we haven't got a single special stump yet, but maybe we can't get them from fruit trees thinking about it. Um, there we go. So lemons. All these tropical fruits are pretty easy to get. If we did accidentally run out, we can always go to the island to get some more. Um, Huh? My pockets are full already. Should I swap it for something? No. I always forget that the fruit don't stack it. Literally, we've been doing it already. Stacked all these fruit and I still forget they don't automatically stack. <laughs> Which is, it is an annoying feature. I don't know. They, I, I thought that would be something they could update with the Welcome Amiibo update they did. But they changed a lot of things. Uh, totally forgot to chop these trees down here. So I'm just going to grab these. The pony's like, what are you doing to my yard? Mind out the way. So it doesn't look like, unless this one, yep, it doesn't look like we got a single special stump out of all of these. So maybe the golden axe, all it does is probably not break. Um, but it's still really fun. Let's grab these. There we go, stack those up, and then we should be good just to get the stumps up. If we need to, we can go to the shop as well and buy some more trees, but I think with the amount of fruit trees we're going to be planting, we probably don't need to buy any more fruit trees, and we've got one on us anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of all of these stumps. It's a bit of a grind <laughs> when there's this many trees. Uh, I think the best thing to do is probably lay the path first. Um, if we need to, we might have to move some villagers out or move their houses. Um, I'm thinking of having a double path leading up to the house, up to where the fountain is. And then that way having all the fruit trees in the middle. So lots of mini orchards and then having paths go between them as well. And hopefully leaving just enough space that the, the fruit can still drop. So that's something we'll have to just try and see. Oops. Concentrate. <laughs> there we go. So only a few more. This is a little bit tedious, but I guess it has to be done. We're going to need to bring the path through here probably, so we're going to want to get rid of that one anyway. I think actually stumps can make can be quite a good design feature. Um, so we shouldn't rule out having some stumps, but we could always plant trees and create them later if we need to. Okay, here we go. So we could bring the path from here, maybe straight up between these two. I kind of want to move the houses along so we can get some bushes there. This is really quite annoying, that cube's right next to the path. Um, but maybe we should start from up here. I forgot we've got loads of houses here, haven't we, actually? Um, we dug up a fossil. It looks like we also need to do some clearing of the flowers. There's flowers everywhere. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to want to bring this around, aren't we? And down. We haven't got as much space to work with as I would have hoped. So let's try and line ourselves up with this. We can worry about the houses later, I think. Let's just start here and see what we can kind of start laying down. Um, yeah, kind of this sort of thing. So they're gonna, it's gonna come down here. We're gonna have to move this tree out of the way. We can definitely, oops. 
We can definitely get these trees back later. Another fossil. But this is really the, the kind of the last area where we really need to lay some some decorating, so. I still love this path. I'm so glad we found it. And let's get rid of these. So we'll worry about those in a second. So it's going to come down here. We're going to have to move this house. So it's a house. We're going to have to move, either move them out or move the house. Um, right, let's just drop these. We'll fill in these corners while we're here. We may as well. Um, are we going to want to do... How are we going to do this? We're going to want to do this one, aren't we? Like so. And this should be wide enough. Luckily, we did a three tile path here. So this should be wide enough to put a tree here and a tree here. Like, leave a space between the trees. So you just have to bear with me <laughs> while we um, drop some tiles down. Oh no, the wrong one. Oh no! <laughs> it's all going wrong! Try again. Uh, so it's right first, isn't it? Sometimes I imagine myself looking at the tiles from where my player is looking and that's when it gets uh, complicated and I start laying the wrong tiles. Uh, so then is it right again? Yeah, and then we want the that one, don't we? Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. Some villagers are happily singing. Um, who's that? Oh, Cece. Oh, hey. I really need a new catchphrase, Maurice. Please tell me one right away. Uh, sure, of course. Uh, tell me what I should say. Um, how about... Splatfest. Because we've got the Splatfest coming up. Uh, is that what you meant? Perfect. So, Splatfest, is that right? It fits me to a T. It certainly does, given you're a Splatoon character and all. Go. So it just leaves. This one. Okay, there we go. So this is kind of the shape we're going for. We're going to want to change these trees because I am a sucker for symmetry. Uh oh. Oh no, it's too late! <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna have to try and do our work with only uh, one good eye and one stung eye. Oh. Our pockets are too full. We have got too much going on. We're going to have to get rid of these roses. Uh, we can just drop that here. We can sell that later. There we go. Okay, we need to put this corner back. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll fill this area up with trees and stuff later, but this is kind of the idea we're going for. The first place we're going to be able to plant trees. No, CC, I'm trying to work. <laughs> oh, geez, did you get stung by a bee, Maury? Uh, that looks so incredibly painful, you poor thing. You know, if you ever get uh, ever knock down a bee's nest, you should just bo uh, book it to the nearest building and hide. Yes. So we're going to want the first trees to go 
here, I think. Maybe we could even move the um, the fountain to somewhere else, but I do kind of like it there. All the villagers are in the way. So we're going to have to kind of plant the trees here. And we may have to plant them later because we're going to have to move the house or move out of Pona. But for now, let's just focus on getting the path correct. Oh, everyone's happy today. Yay. Okay. There we go. So this is, we're just going to bring the path as far down as we can go, basically. Um, and we can do the half of the other side, but we need to move opponent's house. So I guess this isn't your typical episode. Um, just because we're focusing on lane paths, which can be a bit boring for some people. Yeah, so we're gonna want to actually, after we've put in to, we're going to put in four fruit trees, I think, for each. And then we're going to bring the um, path across, like, intersect the path. Like that. So it will make much more sense once the house is out of the way. Uh, we could probably just realign these houses uh, with a little trick. But maybe, maybe it's time for opponent to leave anyway. Um, okay, so we're going to just continue with this for the moment. So there's going to be a tree here. And a tree there. And then we're going to want to bring the path across. It's really hard, really hard to navigate. Um... Um, with the with the buildings in the way. Okay, so it's going to be... Okay, so this is where the path is going to end up intersecting. I believe. When we move these houses. <laughs> okay, this is a very designy video. We haven't done some design videos in in a while um okay so we'll just continue it'll make much more sense once the house out of the way in hindsight we should probably move them out first but that's okay of course if you have any suggestions or other villages you'd like to see just let me know So that's going to intersect across there. And let's see. Yeah. And then this is going to continue. We're going to have to get rid of this tree. This is, yeah, this is okay, I think. If we don't like it, we can always change it. The pain of laying tiles. And um, which one do we need here? There we go. So, 
And then, of course, we won't be able to plant it yet, but there'll be a tree there. And a tree here. And this is what I mean. We're going to group them. So these four will be one tree. Um, and these four will be another tree and so on. And then there'll be another... Uh, not there. There'll be another tree here. And then a space. No! <laughs> there, another tree there. And then the path is going to come across here. So, I don't know whether I should be doing this in my spare time or whether it, people are okay with this kind of process, this kind of video. Um, but this definitely fills up the area, doesn't it? So we've already filled up quite a big space. Um, and it will look much better when we've got a few public work projects around, maybe in this area. Uh, maybe a bench or something. And then, of course, lots of trees. Uh, we do need to think about... Oh, we've still got a lot of room, actually. Wow. Okay. Um, let's get rid of these. Make sure we're lined up correctly. Um, so we're going to have a double path there, aren't we? Is this... Yeah, this is correct, isn't it? There we go. So it should make sense by now. <laughs> Once the houses are out of the way fully. And then there'll be another tree there. Um, we might be able to... Oh, no, because the reset center's there. We might end up having to move them out a little bit. Maybe we can... Oh, I don't think we'll be able to squeeze one in here. The two... Oh, we might. They're only three tiles wide, aren't they? Uh, so how many trees are we going to have here? One, two, three. Okay, so that will be three lots. How many have we got? So what would we put here? So we'd probably want... Um, maybe we would want... Oh, I don't suppose it really matters, does it? I think we're going to want to have a house here, aren't we? Um, okay, it's going to have to look a bit messy for a couple of days, I think. Um, and we'll have to just jiggle the houses around a little bit. I think we might get away with moving... We could move these across one, bring another one down here. That would work. And then we could bring the paths through the houses maybe. So it'd be like a little street, maybe get some street lamps in here. Um, and then we could finish the paths off. So, okay, that would work. Let's just dump our fruit here for now. Um, we can plant them later. That's pretty much all the fruit we have apart from peaches which are over here. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay, let's do... Um, we should probably pay off a little bit of our debt. Oh no, because we want to keep the bells for turnips, don't we? Let's have a wander around over here, see if there's anyone else nearby who we haven't spoken to. Because we could also put some more trees here. So actually we don't need to put 
every single fruit over there. So I think it might work quite well that way. Uh, Cece, we've spoken to you already. Headgear. Oh. Cube, come back! I saw you in the corner of the screen! Hey! Oh no! You must have been stung by a bee! Your face looks like it hurts! I know it's bad, uh, but don't worry. If you use some medicine, it'll get better right away. Thank you, Cube. What have you been up to? Don't walk away! Uh, hey again, Maury! What can I help you with this time, dude? Uh, what's new? I read that eating fruit can prevent scurvy. I don't know exactly what scurvy is, but I know I don't want it. So would you do me a favor and bring me some fruit? Any kind of fruit would be okay, dude. Sure. Awesome. This is going to be great. Um, let's see here. We haven't got any fruit on us now. We literally just dropped it all. But Cube deserves the very best. So we're going to go and get a piece of perfect fruit. Hey, Genji. Whoa, Maury, does your face hurt? Because it's killing me. <laughs> the cheek. <laughs> Just kidding, bro, but that's a serious makeover you got going on there. Ah, you were stung by bees, weren't you? If you take some medicine, they will make you feel better right away. Hey, listen. Oh, they're copying Wolfling's phrase now. Oh, we've got a uh, weed there. Okay, Cube, where did you go? Yawn! Oh, hello again, Maury. So, anyway, what's up? Um, You want to eat this? Oh, you bought me some fruits! Yeah, so here you go. Man, I can't wait another second! Down the hatch! Wow, that was probably the tastiest perfect peach I'd ever eaten, dude. I need to give you a gift for bringing me that fruit. I hope you like my green wardrobe. <laughs> Still cracks me up that you've just got... Oh, yeah, it's got a wardrobe in my pocket. Oh, thanks a bunch. No problem. Thank you. Okay, let's just have another d double check of the path. Make sure we're heading in the right direction. Because I'm starting to doubt myself now. But I think it will all work out. Hmm... Yeah, I think that's okay. So we're going to have one lot of fruit, two lot of fruit, three lots of fruit. Then we're going to have some houses. Bring the path over here. And then we can continue with the fruit here. So do you know what? We're going to be rebels and get rid of these trees. In preparation... Because um, eventually we're going to bring the path through here anyway, so. Oops. So we're just going to dig these up. I think I've lost the in-game sound because my computer just went in standby. No! But we're pretty much at the end anyway. Just um, put these in in preparation for bringing the path through here and adding more fruit patches there. So I think that's a good place to end it anyway. We'll just tweak the houses probably. Um... There's a long way of doing it, and that's forcing villagers out and then moving them back in. Um, another way is to just do a little save edit trick, um, just to shift a, tree, a, a house over a tile. So we'll just do that probably. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you, of course, for watching these videos. I hope you're still enjoying this series. We are well into it now. Uh, but thank you for watching. Thank you, of course, to your channel members um, for supporting this and everyone donating through the super thanks. It really helps just make these episodes give me the time to record them and things like that. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!